Hi, this is Bill from HowToVanish.com, and I'm going to show you three really simple internet privacy tips. But then I'm also going to show you one super secret ninja move that you can do to get a lot of protection of your privacy while you're surfing the internet. So I think we all know that our internet browser is tracking the movements we do, tracking everything we do. That's why we can look at our history and see the internet sites we've seen before and everything we've looked up. You know, whether it's Safari or Firefox or Internet Explorer or Chrome, they all do that. Now, the websites we visit, they can also create a data trail as we're surfing around the Internet. What they do is they install a cookie on your computer so that when you come back to the Internet the next day or the next week or even in the following months, those websites can track what you're doing and, and where you're going on the Internet. Now, one of the best ways to keep that from happening is to use private browsing. Now, different web browsers call it a different name. I think Google Chrome calls it incognito. Internet Explorer calls it in private. Firefox calls it private browsing. They all call it something a little bit different. Private browsing isn't bulletproof, but it can help prevent the accidental disclosure of what you were looking at on the internet, and it can prevent some unsophisticated tracking. And every browser is going to be a little bit different. One of the best ones is Opera. There's also Iron Browser. But every browser's privacy settings are going to be just a little bit different. The second thing you can do is to just delete your cookies on a regular basis. If you go through and delete your cookies, you're probably going to get a lot more of that privacy because advertisers and other websites won't be able to follow what you do for several days, weeks, or months. Now, the third thing you can do is to just adjust your browser settings. Your browser is going to let you accept or reject certain cookies, and you can just pick your preference however you want to do it. Now, all of these have a limitation because a lot of cookies are a lot more sophisticated than that. You can't just delete them. Just using certain techniques and tactics won't get rid of them. But there's still something you can do, and I recommend you go to a website, the website of Macromedia, because they'll have a lot more about what you can do for specific browsers and specific things because there's a lot of, of differences there. Now, I told you there was one super secret ninja level privacy move you can do, and this one is really cool. Some browsers, like Firefox or Chrome, have a portable version. So those portable versions can be saved to an external USB drive, and whatever computer you plug that USB drive into, you can launch that browser. All of the browsing history that you have is going to be saved on the USB drive instead of your computer. Now, if you've got your USB drive uh, encrypted with something like TrueCrypt, you can have your internet history on that USB drive encrypted. That's going to be probably one of the best protections you can have of your USB drive. Your cookies will go to that USB drive and everything will be on that device. When it's encrypted, it's going to be really hard for anybody to break into that. So those are three really simple things that you can do to get a little bit more internet privacy and then one super secret ninja privacy move. If you want to know a little bit more about privacy, you can check out the book How to Vanish or subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is Bill from HowToVanish.com. Use your powers for good.